As soon as the 20th century began, the popularity of automobiles began to grow like yeast, and a market for specialized clothing for motorists emerged. Because the first cars had no roof or doors and were driven mostly on muddy, unpaved roads, drivers needed clothes that protected them from wind, cold and dust. As soon as the 20th century began, the popularity of automobiles began to grow like yeast, and a market for specialized clothing for motorists emerged. Because the first cars had no roof or doors and were driven mostly on muddy, unpaved roads, drivers needed clothes that protected them from wind, cold and dust. Around 1900. The main element of a motorist's fashionable image was a loose floor-length jacket, which could range from a light leather coat to a voluminous fur coat, depending on the weather and climate. January 25, 1907. Amateur motorists dressed up for the Liverpool Motor Show. Women's driving coats came in a variety of colors to match the car itself, and were sewn from fine fabrics such as linen and silk, with added protectors. An essential accessory were special driving gloves. Around 1900. Rolls-Royce co-founder Charles Stuart Rolls, dressed as a policeman, writes a ticket to a man dressed as a motorist. Men's driving hoods were often fitted with special goggles to protect them from dust and random stones. Women's hats had removable dust shields. Around 1910. As a symbol of influence and style, automobile clothing was often worn and just for fun when not driving. Looking like you just drove an automobile became fashionable. Nineteen o three, as cars became cheaper and more widespread, with roofs and doors, automobile clothing lost popularity both as a means of protection and as a symbol of high social status. Around nineteen o five. Circa 1905. About 1910. Thanks for watching.